There's no denying that Earth's orbit is a tangled mess. As of July 2023, the number of orbital objects size 10 cm or greater is estimated to be over 23,000. In August, space debris flying toward the International Space Station forced an evasive maneuver. One month later, the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration stepped in and proposed a rule that would limit the amount of time that private rockets' upper stages stay in orbit and reduce the potential for collisions with spacecraft and satellites to promote a sustainable space environment. But is there any other solution to make the space less junk? SpaceX's Starship is a good answer. With all of its potential, SpaceX can use the Starship to capture space junk with the moving fairing door. Yeah, I am not joking with you. This concept was officially confirmed by both Elon Musk and Gwynne Shotwell. The question is, how will Starship do it? Why does space need a space debris removal tool like Starship? Discuss everything about this in today's episode of TechMap. But before we begin, our team extends a warm welcome. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and enable notifications to stay up to date with the latest news from SpaceX and the world of space. With that in mind, let's jump straight into today's episode. The next generation launch vehicle from SpaceX is the world's most powerful rocket, capable of carrying 100 passengers and cargo to the moon and Mars. Yes, it's Starship. The company has tested and flown multiple prototypes of the spacecraft and is preparing to conduct the third orbital flight in Q1 2024, as expected. From these successes, Elon Musk wants to further develop his spacecraft with many activities in space, including cleaning up space debris. Do you remember? In July 2021, a Twitter user asked Musk if SpaceX would try to eventually collect space debris, to which Musk replied, yes, we can fly Starship around space and chomp up debris with the moving fairing door. Musk's proposed solution would be to use the Starship's fairing, the clamshell-like structure into which the payload is integrated. The payload fairing measures 9 meters in diameter in its standard configuration, allowing for more cargo volume than any other launch vehicle. When configured for debris, the Starship would most likely open its fairing door and use inertia to scoop up and trap debris in its payload compartment. This is similar to how whales hunt in the sea. They open their mouths as wide as possible to scoop up a large amount of little fish with an internal volume of 1,100 cubic meter. The fairing could hold debris eight times the size of a crew dragon. Sounds interesting, right? This isn't the first time this idea has been talked about. In October 2020, SpaceX president and chief operating officer Gwynne Shotwell said that Starship could potentially help clean up space Starship is an extraordinary new vehicle capability. Not only will it decrease the costs of access to space, it's the vehicle that would transport people from Earth to Mars, Shotwell said. But it also has the capability of taking cargo and crew at the same time, and so it's quite possible that we could leverage Starship to go to some of these dead rocket bodies. Other people's rockets, of course, basically pick up some of this junk in outer space. There are rocket bodies littering the space environment and dead satellites littering the space environment. She also affirmed, it's not easy. It's not going to be easy, but I do believe that Starship offers the possibility of going and doing that, and I'm really excited about it. To be honest, this idea is very simple in theory, but it is more difficult in reality. The Starship payload fairing is a clamshell structure in which the payload is integrated. Once integrated, the clamshell fairing remains closed through launch until the payload is ready to deploy. This clamshell-like fairing could enable engineers to develop a machine to gather space junk, but they must bring it back to Earth for proper disposal. Nevertheless, in addition to this idea, there is another easier idea without using the moving fairing door. Starship would have a wide, movable cargo bay door with a large, up to 50-meter wide debris collection net installed. Once in orbit, the net would open up to catch debris from spacecraft as the Starship progressively moved through debris fields. Once the debris collection net is full, instead of having to return the trash to Earth, a complicated and energy-intensive process, Starship can simply push it into the atmosphere, where it will be destroyed without causing further space pollution on Earth. Moreover, future Starship variants could employ advanced debris-capturing payloads like configurable nets, harpoons, robotic arms, and fast-acting adhesives applied from a distance. As a rapidly reusable launch vehicle, SpaceX promises to drastically reduce the launch costs of Starship. 
When combined with Starship's massive lift capacity to orbit, dedicated orbital debris removal becomes commercially and economically viable on a multi-mission scale. Because Starships can be refueled in orbit, they can carry out incredibly long missions that would be impossible with traditional single launch rockets. Refueled Starships could spend a year or longer in orbit, gradually removing debris from Earth. SpaceX may create the ideal orbital garbage truck system in Starship by leveraging its unique capabilities. If deployed proactively and on a continuous basis, Starship could prevent a spiraling Kessler Syndrome space junk catastrophe, keeping vital orbital zones open for long-term exploration and enterprise. From the above ideas, Starship could become the world's most advanced garbage truck. By the way, if you don't know, Kessler Syndrome is a scientific concept that represents a potentially dangerous condition in space, especially in Earth orbit. Named after Donald J. Kessler, a NASA scientist, Kessler Syndrome describes a condition when there is too much debris in Earth's orbit, and every time there is a collision between objects in space, they create more debris. Space junk prevents space development and exploration. Indeed, it is so annoying. Because space junk travels at very high speeds, often around 15,000 miles per hour, or 10 times the speed of a bullet, a collision with something as small as a pencil eraser could seriously damage an operational satellite or, worse, a crewed spacecraft. It is the orbital debris, is all of the hardware that humans have sent into space, but have yet to retrieve. For example, from defunct satellites and rocket parts to stray screws and paint chips, this is a growing risk in. It could create a massive collision in space that would cause a chain reaction that would destroy a large number of satellites and render some orbits completely unusable. To update further details, according to the European Space Agency, an agency involved in removing space debris, which cited data from the US Space Surveillance Network, humanity has launched nearly 50,000 tons of material into space since the 1950 with approximately 10,000 tons remaining in orbit. And 10,590 of the 15,880 satellites launched into space since 1957, the vast majority of which are still operational are still whizzing around in space at high speeds as of September 2023. This is an extremely terrifying number. In the near future, Earth's orbit is expected to become even more crowded. The rapid increase in Earth's crowded orbit shows no signs of stopping, and some people now worry we have reached the point of no return. Realizing that situation, organizations all over the world, including NASA and the European Space Agency, are starting to take more significant action. In October 2023, ESA adopted the Zero Debris Charter, which seeks a global commitment to nearly eradicate so-called space junk by 2030. Luisa Innocenti, ESA's head of clean space, said in a statement, It is just the right thing to do to leave our environment in a clean state for the future. With the Zero Debris Charter in place, the international space community is poised to confront the challenges posed by space junk head-on. By committing to this ambitious timeline, global space agencies are not only acknowledging the severity of the issue, but are also actively working towards a solution that ensures the longevity of space activities for generations to come, in summary, SpaceX's idea for space junk removal is a bold and innovative step toward making space safer for human activity. If this succeeds, it could help us clean up space junk and pave the way for a more sustainable future in space. And that just about wraps it up for today's episode. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification feature so you don't miss any space important updates. Your support is our driving force to continue delivering high quality content. Thank you, and we look forward to seeing you next time.